Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Evie Subtow, and this is a little video about Six Sam. My voice is kind of out, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, this video is just basically to showcase a really cool build I've been trying out, uh, and that is with Genba and Spirit. Now, normally this union would be terrible, um, and for some reason the art is glitched, but anyway, um, it basically is good because of a cynicism. It's 500 attack, this is 500. You bring out both of these. Boom, you go into Xi'an. Now, you also can use this card if you're not if you're running balance, which is what I'm preferring to run in this build. I can't really reenact that. Well, I mean, I, I guess I can. I can, I can. I can do whatever I want in Dueling Book, which is why I'm using it. Um, and another reason, too, I'll show you in a second. But this lets you draw two cards, basically, for pulling off this combo. If you get it going, you draw two. Um, and then, if you have Great Shogun and Xi'an, if you have these two on the field because of this, boom, you can get this to the field. This negates everything. This just is incredible, uh, and this can revive. This can revive a lot of good stuff. And the side deck is a bunch of stuff I'll be testing out in the future. Um, but this is my current build, and I'm finding a lot of success with it. So, extra deck is three Shien, one Armades, and just one Rahan. I don't think Rahan is that great, but I'm still running it just in case. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the duel room. I'll show you right now. You host a duel. You go to solo mode. And what this does is it'll put only you uh, in here. You know what would be great if I actually use the right deck? Um, I'm going to set this as default. There we go. No more of that. Solo mode, host it. All right, so now uh, this is a... I'm going to put this card back uh, to the bottom. Actually, no, I should have put that on top. Oh, well. Uh, but this is basically what a balanced hand would look like, right? This is a balanced hand. we got one spell, one monster, one trap, and then something else random. Um, I'm going to normal summon this. Oh, let me turn this choose monster zone off. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, activate this. This thing is a uh, 500 attack, so I get to view the deck. And special summon this. Now, two, three. One's a tuna. Uh, send this to the grave. This to the grave. Bring out this. Ignore these two zones if you're here for dual links. Ignore these as well, because... Um, you can't do solo speed duel, but I don't really think there's too much of a purpose for it. So yeah, so this is my hand. This is this is my field right now. This is four cards. I did not um, cheat here. I put one back, the the one I drew last, because I'm acting like I went first. Now I can negate the spell or trap uh, once per turn uh, for free. And if it would be destroyed, let's say I had another one on the field, I could protect it. But not only that, I have this card, which lets me... Destroy my six samurai to return two on the field to the hand. So if my opponent has Maximus and something else on the field, I can get rid of those really quickly. And then I have this to negate anything that would cause destruction on a six samurai monster, uh, which is extremely good. So now I'm going to hit reset the deck. And we're going to start over. Uh, ignore the phase stuff up here. Just imagine right now it's main phase. I'm just going to keep this on. So now we're going second, right? This is another balance hand. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a cynicism, but I don't think that's a problem. I'm gonna activate this. Activate this. I'm going. I'm going to normal summon this. Puts a counter on each. I'm gonna go ahead and send this one to the grave to draw a card. Boom! Look at that. Perfect. Couldn't have. Couldn't have uh, scripted it better. So yeah. So there's another counter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Draw two more. Check that out. Oh, what a what a lucky hand. So boom, there's our great shogun. Set two. Uh oh, first I gotta send these two great Hold on. <laughs> Getting too excited. Alright. Can you actually move these? Um Yeah, you can move it. Okay, okay. Just didn't know. I haven't used this in a while. So yeah, this is my hand right now. This is my hand. That is a five card hand. Uh, that then extended into, uh, what was what that, nine cards <laughs> because of the draw power. Uh, this thing basically um, will negate a spell trap once per turn, like I said. And this will prevent your opponent from only activating one. So, uh, if your opponent tries to activate that one, negate it. Then you got this. If somehow everything else fails, I can bring them back. Uh, but my life points come 100. And then Musakani will allow me... Uh, to basically negate anything that would destroy this monster. Now, not this one. It has to be a six Sam, uh, and he's not a six Sam. But but she n is not just not she n. 
I know it's confusing. Anyway, but that's another hand. That is a uh, hand going second. Now let's reset. That would have been game, by the way. Absolutely, that would have been game if, if the opponent didn't have anything strong. And if they did, I could always deal with it. So, now we've got another... This is another balanced hand. I'm going to put this card back. Uh, because I'm just playing it like I'm going first. Gonna normal summon this. Activate this. Special summon this. Now, uh, because I have this in my hand, I almost made the mistake. Sends to the grave. Special summon. Set this card. Um, unfortunately I can't use it because it has to be the only monster you control is 1-6 Sam. Uh, but if Great Shogun Shien is destroyed, I can basically, um use this card now this card has the same kind of effect if it will be destroyed you can destroy face up six sam you control instead and that and that does uh, include this this just doesn't work by tributing this you cannot tribute this um to save this because it's not a six samurai but the reverse can happen uh but basically it's a very as you can see very very consistent deck um starting over again well this isn't really a balance hand Scrap this one. Okay, yeah, that's about right. Uh, so going second again, we've got this. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I'm going to. Unfortunately, I kind of had to normal summon this, but if I can, I got a counter on it now. Let me just go ahead and do all the steps so you see it live how it's happening. Draw a card. Oh, unfortunately, I don't get that. However, it doesn't matter because we have this trap that can just destroy everything. And uh, we have this to revive stuff in, in the end. So I end my turn. My opponent summons something. Uh, two things, actually. And I'm like, oh, gosh, it's Kokaimiru. There's uh, there's there's the, the what's his name? The Urnite. He summons, Sandman, uh, he summons Sandman or whatever. Then Maximus. Well, Sandman negates this, unfortunately. So I am going to take damage. And that's it. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. So it does lose to Kokaimiru if they have Sandman on the field. Um, they could, you could just be very unlucky, and they, or, or I could be lucky, and the opponent could have, uh, Sandman in the hand, instead of, you know, on the field, <laughs> in the deck, I mean. Anyway, so let's reset. That's the first time, by the way, that we've had a hand that doesn't do anything, um, which is astonishing. So, look at this hand right here. This is incredible. Um, I'm actually gonna put this back like I, I went first, right? I'm gonna do this like I went first. Normal summon. We got a counter on it. Cynicism. Activate, sends it to the grave. It's just faster. It's, it's one less step I have to do. Boom. That's another counter right there. Let's uh, go ahead and send this to the grave. And I would go ahead and send this to the grave before you synchro because if you draw Great Shogun Shien or another one of these United, you can place it on the field. And then uh, if, let's say if I drew another United, right? Uh, these two go to the grave. And then I bring out uh, this. That's another counter on it because it is a six Samurai. Uh, so now I have a revival card, a destruction, a, a return two to the hand uh, for the price of one, and a negation of destruction uh, on the field. That is an insane turn. That is an insane turn. And remember, this was going first. <laughs> oh my lord, it's great. It's great. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, but I want to show you one more thing real quick. Um, let me... Go back to the deck constructor. Let me go ahead and show you something real quick. I do want to... Let me go ahead and... Uh, can I copy this? Mm -hmm. Save as... 6 Sam. I'll let me put DL in front of it. DL 6 Sam uh, 3. And I, I do want to show you something real quick. Um, it does not have to be these. It does not have to be these. In fact, uh, you may prefer to use Kagemusha. I think you just right click it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kagamusha has 400 attack. You can use Elder. And it literally makes no difference. Um, in, in my opinion, though, it does make one slight difference. And that is um, Gen Gunba or Gemba. Yeah, Gen Genba has better destruction protection. If exactly a 6 Sam you control will be destroyed, no other cards, banish it from the grave. Uh, this only does it while it's on the field, and it doesn't even do it great. Um, so I do think it's a little bit worse in that regard. However, this is free special summon, so if you get both of these in your hand, it's an instant, uh, sync 5, rather than having to completely rely on this. But let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna set it as default. 
and let's do a couple of tests with this. So here we go. Um, I'm going second, it looks like. Special summon. Oh, uh, first activate this. Just pretend I did that. The normal summon. Put another counter to the grave. I draw two. Ooh, perfect. Special summon this. Well, let's turn it off for a second. Is this one's return? No, it isn't. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we send these two to the grave. Bring out this. And boom, check that out. Also, you cannot summon Great Shogun Shien with uh, this card. They both, yes, they do have 2500 attack. But once again, this is not a 6 Sam. Uh, it's just not in the name. Even though it directly uh, works with them, it is not in the name. So it's not a 6 Sam monster, if you, if you were unaware of that. Uh, so yeah, we have a Negate. We have a, a revival of two monsters. There's no level cap. They just get destroyed during the end phase. And if they do get destroyed, you take damage equal to those attack to the, uh, attacks of the monsters. So you have to be careful with this card. Because in with 4,000 life points, it will destroy you. Um, especially if you revive this and another one with like 1,500 attack. You're just instantly dead. What you need to do is you need to use this during your turn. Uh, so you can revive them, use them as synchro material, or use them as a last ditch effort to attack. Because they can attack during the turn you summon them, uh, which is kind of crazy. So you can revive this and another one. You could even revive the tuner and go into a level 7 if you wanted to. There's a lot of potential with it. and uh, I really like this card. This card might be better than Backs to the Wall. Though I feel like Backs to the Wall has more potential, I think, than this. It can bring back 3 rather than just two um and i feel like it has a pretty good i feel like it has pretty good potential to just swarm the field and absolutely come out of nowhere and win this has a similar effect but its limit is capped at two plus it has to be two by the way it has to be two so if you have two and if you have one in the grave you can't use it uh so that's something to think about Where, whereas um backs to the wall just lets you summon uh as many as possible with different names uh so yeah the, the cap is basically three on that, while this is forced... Not this. This is forced at two. So, uh, you do have to think about that. Once again, negating the one spell and trap the opponent can activate. Negating anything that would try and destroy a 6 Sam. And reviving two from the grave during my turn if these get blown up. So, yeah. Let's reset. That is not a balanced hand. <laughs> Okay, so this is an unfortunate hand, um, and this shows uh, the one risk that you do run with Great Shogun Shien is that if you draw this card, no other monsters, you're kind of screwed. Um, so yeah, this is an unfortunate hand, and mind you, this is the first time this happened to me in about probably 15 duels. I, I've only shown you like whenever I started recording, but prior to this, I was recording, not recording, testing a lot. Um, so yeah, this is the first time this happened to me so far. All right, this is a good hand. Let's act like we're going uh, first. Normal summon. Activate. Uh, we are going to special summon this. To the grave and to the grave. And honestly, I could do it again. I could have done it again, um, but I don't see the point. Boom, there it is. And there's that card. If my opponent tries anything with Kokai Miru, um, I can target two of the opponent's cards and return them to the hand. So, uh, if they summon Urnite and then go into, uh, go into, uh, what's his name? Sandman, then yeah, I can be screwed over because he can negate the card. But if they happen to have Sandman in a hand, which is possible, it's very possible, since they usually run one card, it is possible for them to have that one in the hand. If they summon Ice or Wall or anything else, uh, you can return it. It's also possible um, that they have just Maximus in their hand. And if they do that, um, you basically have to... You, if they don't have any other cards on the field, you just kind of have to take that. And there is a weakness with this card compared to Treacherous Trap Hole. Um, there definitely is a weakness with that. But this can be used multiple times, unlike Treacherous. Uh, so it's... Honestly, I feel like this card is really good. Uh, but it has its limitations in certain matchups. Uh, but yeah, that's another hand. Let's go one more with this this style of deck. 
All right, so this is a balanced hand going second, so um, let's go ahead. We control the monster, special summon it. Normal summon it. Uh, sure, we just activate it anyway. <laughs> We're going to special summon this in, uh, in defense. Why not? So, boom. Bring out this. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry for blowing your minds there if anyone has not played with links. Alright. So, boom. That's it. End of the turn. This goes to the grave. I have the same setup. So, this deck is really good, as you can tell. Very consistent on what it can do. Uh, let me tell you why I don't like this build, though. This build uses Earth and Earth. And then this is Dark. Um, and I know it's not a big deal because this monster isn't that good. But with Earth, Fire, and Dark, you could potentially bring out this Light Monster. It takes six Sams with different um, attributes. And it's a Contact Fusion. Once per turn, you can banish one six Sam card from your hand. Or face up from your field, target a card on a field and banish it. If a 6 Sam monster you control will be destroyed, uh, you can banish this card instead. So, basically, it's a pretty decent card. I don't think it's a bad card by any means, especially in Duel Links. Uh, once per turn, banish something to destroy something on the field, which is very nice. Um, and with the other version, like I said, this one, uh, you have only Earth and Dark. So you can't really bring that card out. Um, and... Not being able to access that card, I feel like, is a limitation compared to this build being able to do it. And I know it's I know it's like a total joke, right? That this is a union, and you shouldn't be running unions. But in the rare chance that you do get to use it, it has an effect. Um, while it's equipped to a monster, gains 5 front attack and defense. Which, equipped to this, will make it tie with Kokai Miru. If, if, if you're facing Kokai Miru, like I said, there... There are ways that Kokomir can just completely destroy you uh, by negating the traps. But if you have this, it has a chance to at least tie with the Maximus, destroy it, and then you have backs to the wall or double-edged sword, and you can bring them right back. Uh, there's potential with that. Another thing it does is if the equipped monster destroys a monster by battle, you draw a card. If you, if you couldn't have enough draw power with United, you have another form of it right here. So I think this is, I feel like this build is better just for the opportunity um, for, like I said, that little small example that will never happen, but if it does, it's great, uh, and, and bringing out this monster, which is pretty decent. So I feel like uh, if you're running this deck, if you're trying to run a balanced build, trying to do this, I feel like this is the more optimal monster lineup of just trying to get out this level 5 synchro um, it just gives you the opportunity to bring this thing out, which you could not do in the other one. So, I think the deck's really good. Like I said, I showed you, it's super consistent. This probably isn't the most optimal build, uh, but honestly, it's just, it's so great. I can't wait to try and use them. My only problem with this deck is that it's super expensive, because this is an ultra rare. Uh, this is a super rare. I think this is a rare. Uh, but this is definitely a super rare as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you had to grind for. I would have to go back and get this card too because I don't have it. And this card. Uh, it's super expensive. But if I can play it, I'll definitely try. Um, but yeah, I think this deck's amazing. Uh, test it out for yourself. You see the deck build, check it for yourself. Just have some fun with it. But that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. No editing on this one, I know, but I just wanted to quickly put this out for you and show you my results of testing with this deck. I've also been working on Despots um, and another version as well. And I have not tested this one out yet, uh, but this one uh, still can do the Sync 5, but focuses on other things. It's not running Balance. I think I would probably run Tide at Binds with this just because of how easy it is to swarm the field. This summons one from the hand. This summons from the hand if you control one. Um, and then this also special summons from the hand if you control one, this summons if you control two, super easy with tie uh, of, the, of the binds, a tie that binds I mean. Um, and then this card as well, this card's incredible, um, but it, it, it's, it's good for more control variants and like I said, it's just, it's hard to fit the cards in there because with the other build, with the other build, I'm trying to get monsters that work specifically with asceticism to be nearly Always the monster I draw with balance. Rare occasions you get this, but almost always, six out of seven times, I am drawing this monster, and 50% of the time, I am drawing 
uh, this spell. So it's it's super good. It's it's super consistent. Uh, the second build I'm using here, Six Sam Two. I don't know if it's super consistent, but I will be testing this one out as well. Let me know what you find out in your testing. I'm curious to see what you found, um, and if you're excited for this deck, because I know I am. I think it's super good, uh, and I can't wait to play it. So sorry again for the raspy voice the entire time. Uh, Pollen, I guess it's finally getting to me. I guess, but um, anyway. Thanks for watching. Like I said, check out my other content, social media video uh, pages. Until next time, peace out.